Martin Vickers. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Hook. Um, many of my colleagues have uh, referred in, in more general terms to the uh, situation in companies in, in their area. And representing, as I do, a coastal area, it's particularly important, as, the, uh, as my honourable friend uh, from Blackpool said, that uh, uh, we get these coach companies up, running, and visiting our uh, towns and resorts as soon as is possible. Rather than dwell on the, the general points that others have, perhaps I could quote from one particular company in my area, which sums up really uh, how the impact on, on a well-run family business can be, who, as the member for Boxmont said, have never darkened uh, the doors of their MP previously. Uh, Mr Radley, who's based in Barton, says... As you know, we have zero income for months now during the lockdown period. After you visited us in the summer, we cautiously reopened on the 8th of September. Since this date, we have managed to operate just a handful of day excursions and two five-day tours. The average load on these occasions has been 18 passengers. That emphasises the fact that even if we can get uh, the, uh, these coach companies up and running, the social distances means the, the, their load is only a third or a quarter of the normal, and that simply is not uh, viable. Mr Radley goes on, to, on to, to say that never in our previous 29-year trading history have we feared for our future existence as we do right now. I think that sums up really how the impact is on individuals. And though um, we hear from uh, the Minister, as I'm sure we will do uh, uh, shortly, uh, the success that the government has had in put ploughing money in, furloughs, bounce-back loans and so on, all of which the companies we represent have actually taken advantage of, and they are very grateful. But the fact is they don't want to hear a repeat, Minister, of what we've done. They want to hear what we are going to do to maintain uh, their uh, viability over the next year or two. Despite the fact that we're very dependent in the, in the Cleethorpes constituency on the hospitality sector, overwhelmingly the, uh, my constituents have supported the restrictions that the government have placed, put in place. They recognise that, and in, in the recent lockdown, my, the infection rate in my area has gone down from 650 to a, around about 120. So there is recognition that lockdowns have worked. But if uh, by government to decree in a, dem a democratically accountable government they decree that <clears throat> someone cannot go about their law abiding uh, business then we, the government must act and support them. 